this afternoon, our title game at the Milwaukee School of Engineering between the Indiana Bulls and the Canes from Virginia. Keaton Mayhem. Yeah, and this man is doing it all. Hitting over 500 the last three days, but the Ohio State commit has to have another good game. It doesn't mean hitting home runs. It means just getting on base, setting the table, and let everybody else come through like they're supposed to. And for the Canes, it's their up-the-middle combination of Dixon Williams and Connor Rasmussen. Yeah, and these guys are interchangeable. It's neat to see that you've got two guys that know each other well. Dixon was that short yesterday. He'll be at second today, but both going to East Carolina kind of gives that pitcher a lot of comfort knowing that whether it's one or the other, Connor leading off, Dixon hitting third. These guys are 10 for 21 in the first three games. And if they can stay hot, looks like they're going to be bringing home a championship. And he begins this championship game by pumping a first pitch fastball. And here's the 2-2. Called strike three. Caleb pumps a fastball over the outside corner and Coffee is retired. Just always yeah. gave himself enough time. Yeah, baseball players are superstitious. Williams certainly is, but strikes out here. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Zach Todd. On to the second inning in the championship. No score. He's been the starting shortstop on this team. Slaps one up the middle for a base hit. 2-2, waved at and missed, strike three. Dean is down. And the 1-2 pitch is shot into left field. That's a base hit for Rush. Coming around third, he's going to test the arm of Harrison, and the runner scores. Cerny is in, going down to second safely. On the play is Rush, and it's 1-0 in favor of the Bulls. 2-2 pitch is hit in the air. That's deep to right center field. Trailing back on it is Nelson. He's at the warning track and makes the catch up against the wall. Carlos Correa or, you know, Vlad Jr., these guys, what did they look like when they were 14 years old? It's generally like 50 pounds less than what they look like right now. A lot of these guys go to high school in similar areas. That one is grounded fair down the right field line by Chrisman. That's going to roll over the bullpen mound into the corner, pull around third. He will stop there. First pitch swinging right there by Kantz. That's hit into shallow right field. Three guys racing for it. A diving play to make the catch by Williams. Throws to the plate, not in time. You don't know if this is going to be slicing back into the field of play or not. You can't take a chance on this dropping because you might have two guys that score. Stay with it the whole way. Look at how quickly he bounces up and tries to throw it home. East That's Carolina elite range, is going to be, right? yeah, that is elite range. I mean, that's a ball you're almost looking at your right field and like, why aren't you catching this? You've got the big long legs, George. Come on, where are you? Out of his high school season and lost a lot of weight in the process. His coaching staff thinks he's at about 80% now, and Caleb with another buck, and that's a run for Indiana. And he drives this one in the air to left field. This ball is deep. Going back at the warning track, it is a leap and a catch. Oh, what a catch by Brody Chrisman to rob a potential home run. Brody Chrisman taking one away from Stratus. His coaching staff loves it. Look at this. That's a home run if not for Brody Chrisman. 3-1 in favor of the Bulls. Timed the leap perfectly. You see him slaying sideways, so his eyes are leveled, not bouncing at all, tracking it in. 3-2, called, strike three. How about Vaughn coming back to get Mayhem? And that ball is shot into right field, a base hit. Rush was shaded towards second with the anticipation of a double play ball. And Dixon Williams hit it right through the hole. There's going to be a lot of people that like this guy. 2-2 pitch called, strike three. Todd gets a big out right there. That's the second of the inning. Pulls one strike and he hits one into left field and that one's gonna drop down and move up against the wall. One run is in. Racing around third, we may have another. And scoring on the play is Williams and we're tied up. 
Two-run double for George Wolkow, and the Canes even things here in the fourth. All elite travel teams wanted the ball in. Ball faded back over the outer half, and George not trying to do too much. Just barrel it up. I'm going to take it down that left field corner, and guess what? Two-run score. We got a tie ball game. Three and two on Mish. Swing and a miss. Vaughn now two strikeouts and three batters faced. Now here's the 2 1. Swinging a ground ball to short. Rasmus into second for one. Williams to first, double play. Inning over. 6 4 3. The East Carolina connection comes through for a lot of people around the country. This time, belts one in the air to left center field. That ball at the wall and bouncing up against the fence. Fielded there by Paul, and Harrison's got a double. Two organizations that have clearly earned this opportunity. Definitely have as Nolan strikes out. Foley pounds him inside with a fastball, and he can't get around him. But uh, just a great feeling. Other than getting the wind knocked out of you, sounds pretty great. Foley. 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Dean strikes out. Now two away. Of course, the catch-22 with the towel here is that it is sitting in the rain. Yeah, you would think you would fold it or do something so that part of it is kind of protected. It's going to hit a seam or not. Called strike three. Vaughn with the bender on the inside edge and gets right. Still knotted at three, middle of the sixth. Williams on the ground to second. Rush to second for one. Throw to first, not in time. Watt is committed to TCU, and that one hits him right in the helmet. And he'll head down to first. Appears to be okay, fortunately. Two and one count, though. Big at bat. And Wolko missed the pitch. Well, he was just swinging. Ball. Yeah, right. it's, it's a free swing. Right. And now, here comes a run into score. Can you believe this? Wow. Another ball wow. called on Foley, and the Canes take the lead four to three in the bottom of the sixth. You hate to see this. Hate to see this. Yep, but that's a balk. He started his motion and then stopped and went back. I'm surprised it took the umpires that long before they called it. One two pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. Rushes down, a lot of strikeouts. A lot of swings and misses. And another strikeout here. Keaton Mahan is down. Five straight strikeouts. And there's a line drive up the middle of base hit. Connor Mish, a single to center field in Indiana. Not going down without a fight. First pitch swinging, hit in the air. Left field, Harrison on the run. Can't make the catch. Here comes Paul, ties the game. Brody Chrisman with the single to left, and we're knotted at four. Raiden Marks. Called strike three, Coffee down, and we'll go to the bottom of the seventh where the Canes will have a chance to win it with their bats. It's over. 2-2 Two -two pitch, swatted up the middle, base hit. Stopping at second base is Rada. First and second, nobody out for the Canes. That ball almost gets away against Pownall, and now he throws to first, and they've got the runner picked off. Harrison running towards second base, tagged out by Cerny. There's a wild pitch, gets back to the backstop. Hit nope, it, was, it hit him. That it one hit him. got the foot, yep. Three balls, one strike, with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. Rasmussen drives one, right field, deep, a leap, it drops, and the Canes win the 2021 Geico City Series. Connor Rasmussen, the winning hit and the hero. What an at bat, what a swing. That's kind of how you want to win a tournament. 
you want someone getting a big hit. It's not a walk, it's not a balk, it's not an error. Connor, solid game defensively, a great tournament all week. Lefty, lefty, tough combination, and just got all of that baseball. East Carolina commit Connor Rasmussen gets a fastball high and in and ropes it to right. Keaton Mahan made a great attempt at it and right, but Rasmussen knew it. Ball drops in, and the Canes are the champs. Leaping effort. Almost had it. Almost had it. So the Canes from Virginia, your 2021 Geico City Series champions over the Indiana Bulls who are vying for their second straight.